smoke right here. <laughs> that is insane. And we on the channel, we always do crazy stuff with crazy big airplanes. You know, landing at places that they're actually not very much supposed to be landing at. Take a look, we're now landing at Key West Airport with a big Dreamlifter 747. We will be able to stop, that is for sure. But I hate to break the news to you. All these videos we did about, you know, using all the stopping power on airliners haven't been very realistic. In fact, the 747 Dreamlifter is the only airplane that I know the, for the fight simulator that actually simulates what actually happens to a big airplane on a short runway. Let's take a look and see. Let's just land down here. All right, we're landing a little bit fast and a little bit bad, but that's that's what we want. Come on. Yes, we've done it a little bit early off uh, the thres threshold here. Let's go ahead and stop this plane, which requires a lot of that braking power that we're talking about. And oh, yes, everybody. It's given in full in the braking. We can see them smoking hot. These are smoking hot brakes. That is just insane. Take a look. We've got some beautiful fire. According to the data rev here at the 747, our brake temperature is 400 degrees Celsius. Yes. This is what actually happens if you do this, what we just did. It's breaking the airplane at full power. We did stop in a quick time. But it's true, these big jet airplanes, they are very heavy and they are very fast. I mean, we just did land at nearly 370 kilometers per hour and we came to a standstill very quickly. Yes, these are very powerful brakes. But the reality is that most of the time they are never used because uh, you'd end up having this. If you apply full braking power, you have definitely cooked brake. I mean, this is always thoroughly tested in, you know, new plane testing. I mean, take a look at how fast the 787 Dreamliner could s stop. This was pretty good. But obviously, these brakes have to be cooled down with, with some sort of coolant spray, which actually does work well. But the tires obviously deflate after a while. Just like uh, it's going to happen here. Where the, our, our tires are going to blow in a second. Don't worry about it. Yes, these tests are mostly done for rejected takeoffs with... You know, that's kind of a flight situation where you do want to risk kind of cooking your brakes because you don't want to end up over the fence, you know, overrunning the runway. I'm right, 340 thing, and you can see here, yes, a lot of smoke here. Small flames on the left landing here. Everywhere are flames. There's a lot of flames. I mean, take a look at this rejected takeoff from a 777 right here. Yes, a single takeoff here can definitely cook the brakes. Come on. Yeah, damn. And of course, they're going to burn down. And the same thing has happened here. Actually, our tires are all blown now and they're kind of on fire. Just by one single landing. Everybody, yes. This is the Sparky 747 Dreamliner. And this is actually the only simulator plane that I know of that actually simulates this behavior of airplane. Yes, I mean, on most other add-ons, you can just land them without any issues on full power stopping. Use the littlest of runway and nothing will happen to the landing gear. You can do this all day. Because most of the time, you don't have brakes simulated. But take a look. I mean, the only other plane that I know of that does this is the Flight Packer 757. Let's maybe go ahead and demonstrate some sort of uh, rejected takeoff. Yes, come on. Oh, weird. Right, that's a little bit of a bug. Yes, yes, we've got plenty of speed right here, 120 knots, but suddenly we want to reject or take off right here using only the brakes. Come on, let's do it. You can do it, yes, full power into the brakes. Very nice, very nice. And you can see the brakes are cooking hot. They are even on fire. Very beautifully simulated as well. Yes, for some reason, the avionics don't work well. But take a look, I'm immensely proud of this one too. The brakes are cooking, even though we can actually fly still, right? It's only definitely the right one that's especially cooked. Yes, we can still fly. This is perfectly fine. I mean, according to the ECAS, that's actually our littlest problem. I mean, going to fly is actually not that bad of a solution for this, for cooling down the brakes. I mean, for example, right now, we've got a lot of airflow around the landing gear and that cools it down nicely and this is what you see in real life happening sometimes you see that pilots actually do not put out the landing gear of their airplanes for quite a while and that is because of the airplane complaining about hot brakes and you can see they're cooling down nicely because of all that nice cool airflow yeah this is what here is one of a, of a 787 and this is not because the pilots forgot to put the landing gear up no they want to cool down the brakes nicely before they put it in to the fuselage because especially with very 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 hot brakes you really don't want them in your airplane body because what can happen is of course a wheel well fire yeah there's lots of hydraulic fluids in there and they can catch fire real quickly if you got really really hot landing gear and you really really would like to avoid it i'm pretty sure let me see um I want to do some testing. How many touch and goes can we make with the 757? Come on, you can do this. 
in beautiful Canada here at this airport. I want to do some full-on testing with this landing gear. You can do this your sports or plane. Yes, there we go. We've stopped and it's now time to put full power into the braking and uh, not into the braking also into the engines full power into the engines as well as the braking that's what i'm talking about yes get them nice and hot oh geez we might not actually be able to make it so this is now um, very much stressing the engines and the brakes the third plane is highly stressed i could imagine but i want to see them explode come on sports you are very sporty this is a vertical this is a vertical takeoff that's crazy all right teardrop maneuver time to come in from the other side hard landing Yes, full power into the braking, but also full power into the engines. It's time to make these brakes struggle, and you can see some smoke already. That's what I'm talking about. Time to get off into the air again. Yes, smoking hot, bro. Yes, <laughs> stupid video. All right, now let's put him into the thing. You really wouldn't want to do that, would you? What would happen? Oh, actually, I uh, I see wheel well fire. All right, that's not too good. Maybe let's put the landing gear back down. That would, I guess, be a little bit helpful. Yes, it's still smoking. <laughs> that's insane. Very nice. All right, about time we do this again here. Let's try to land because our brakes are nearly cooled down because of all that high airspeed. Did you guys just see that maneuver? The airplane is crazy. I love the 757. Take a look. All right, wheel well fire. All's fine. The landing gear's down now. Everything's beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, what's that now? Is that supposed to happen? Why are both engines gone? Why? Uh-oh. I mean, they clearly are still running. Help! We've lost the system! We're crashing! All that because of the wheel well fire? Nah. All right, you've crashed. Interesting. Perhaps the hydraulics and the electrical systems were completely lost, and so there wasn't any connection to the engines? Maybe that is what happened? I have no idea. But that's interesting. All right, that already took it to the max. But I want to see these things really on fire now. Come on, perhaps by using no flaps and a lot of speed. Yeah, like that. All right, beautiful. That's been hard, and you can see all those the brakes are working. Yes, working and very hot. Very nice. Yes. And take a look at that for takeoff performance. That's just crazy. All right, tail strike. That's not good. All right. Landing number two. Very hard. It's time to really kill that landing gear down there. Yes, like that. Beautiful. Full power into the braking. While also going full power in the engines. Like that. Very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Brakes are genuinely on, very much on fire. That is definitely what I'm talking about. But it's definitely now compromised. It's the stopping capability. Like the braking power, these are generally dead. All right, let's try this again. Going full power to the brakes. Yes, we will fire again. We don't care. We don't give a damn. We don't care. We do not care. We do not care. We do genuinely not care. We don't give a damn. Yes, take a look at that. Very beautiful. These are genuinely very much on fire. That is crazy. How much more fire can we get? That's the question that we're going to find out. All right. As long as the fire doesn't spread, we're totally all right. To continue our testing. Yeah. Landing in the grass. Who gives a damn? All right. Fire. Yes. Everything is on fire now. Can you take a look at that? Beautiful. And we are off again. And that's a lot of smoke right here. <laughs> That is insane. All right, perhaps let's maybe try doing a final landing here. We are very fast, but we don't mind. All right, there we go. Very nice. Stop now. Full power into the reverse thrust. Oh, this plane doesn't stop at all. All right, that's very bad. We have to go around. Oh, flaming hot brakes. Come on, maybe with a little bit of less speed. Let's try to stop one more time. Come on. All right, there you go. Full power. Full power. You need to stop. You need to really stop. This airplane's just not stopping anymore. No, no, go around. It's not work. It's not. It's not working. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Somebody shout out to Flight Factor for uh, factoring the brakes in, which is really, really cool. It's interesting. This is a very powerful engine, and it's really interesting to see the brakes work against the powerful engine. It's just getting hot, very, very hot, very quickly. It's definitely a feature that every add-on developer should consider. Because I mean, take a look at this. It's the only realistic way if you fight against your uh, engines, which uh, never happens. Take a look. Now we're on fire again. That's absolutely beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. This is good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.